unbelievable. And it's 2-12 to 10 points. What about that for a possible defining moment in today's and final? That's an unbelievable goal. Eddie Brennan going through here. I was saying to myself, why is he not going to put this over the bar? Gives the hand pass, one touch, and what a finish by Richie Hogan. Cousin the DJ carries and at his best DJ will be proud of that one. And Eddie Brennan leaving it this time to Henry Shefflin to fire it forward. Once again to Richie Power. This time denied possession by Torek Maher. Now it's up to Tipperary to do something about this. And Lark Orber to come out for it here. He's got to turn on the style at this stage. John O'Brien, they need a point or a score, they need something, they've got a point. Probably need goals at this stage, 2-12 to 11 points, that's a 7-point margin. It's 14 and a half minutes into the second half. Lara's the provider, John O'Brien the one who finishes, his first point. Yeah, see Eddie Brennan looking for a bit of treatment there. So it might be oxygen he needs after that run, 33 years of age now. And as I was mentioning earlier, became a father for the first time during the past week. Our congratulations to him and to his wife and uh, new child it's Harry. Tipper Tipperary lady, can't think of it from poor draw. Well, I can just tell you that his son Harry is available to the Kilkenny minor selectors for the next 18 years. And if he's like his daddy, he'll be a good one. Just watch the goal again here. And then, as far as Richie Hogan, what about this for a decisive finish? Beat Paddy Stapleton, beat Brendan Cummins, second goal of the match. Yeah, Paddy Stapleton probably had a chance to flick the ball away, but a br that doesn't take from the goal, an absolutely brilliant finish. Henry Shefflin went up for it, but it's going to be uh, Kilkenny who will take it down. It's advantage Kilkenny at this stage in the All-Ireland Final, the 123rd you're watching live on the Sunday game this afternoon. Owen Larkin over his left shoulder. Should be Brendan Cummins now to begin the counter attack. What kind of variation can they come up with? Seen very little of Noel McGrath. Got a great point in the first half, but not enough since then. All the avenues to goal have been closed down by a very determined, very disciplined Kilkenny defence. Paul Murphy swinging it downfield. Conor O'Mahony now sweeping, but put under pressure immediately, and that's been the tactic. The forwards becoming the first line of defence into Richie Hogan, slipped in towards Larkin too far this time. Problems for the fullback, Paul Curran, Owen Larkin back in towards Eddie Brennan, looking for Colin Fennelly, finding Brendan Maher instead. Went to ground, looking for a free, referee says play on, you weren't fouled. Michael Cahill tries to get it out, Richie Hogan has it back in again and he's fouled and it's going to be a free in. And it should be another point for the team that was denied five in a row last year. Denied by Tipperary. Yeah, and, and Kilkenny at the moment are creating plenty of opportunities, overlaps, you know, that little flick from Eddie Brennan, if it came off there, there was another goal on, and, uh, you know, if Tipperary aren't careful here, Kilkenny could really pull away from them. Well, the question was about the fitness levels of Kilkenny. There's no question about Kilkenny's fitness levels. OK, <laughs> Henry's turned 32, Eddie Brennan's 32, they've got two other 30-year-olds, Hogan and Hickey, but the rest, they're all in their 20s. And that's another yeah, point. Well, I, I think, to be fair, Jared was more a question of mileage on the clock rather than, you know, their actual age, like the likes of Tommy Walsh, JJ Delaney, you know, a huge hurling down for men of their age, and that was the more the issue. But that's not a question today. They've trained really, really hard all year. And what praise Henry deserves for coming back. We all saw him suffering last year, going off after 13 minutes of the match. But he's come back, he's battled so hard to play in this final. Now it's up to Tipperary to do something about it if they're going to deny Kilkenny the title. There's still time if they're good enough still battling and again Tommy Welch what a player what a match he's been playing helped out here Jackie Turrell and Porrick Bottermar hands knees and bumps the daisy and in the end the linesman Barry Kelly signalling that it's going to be a line ball to tip Pabrick standing over it but it might be Noel McGrath who will try and perform his party piece and try and put it over score of 12 points in this year's championship a couple of them from line balls Michael Fennelly's brilliant goal of the first half, still remembered fondly by Kilkenny fans. Face of determination there, Noel McGrath cutting it from an almost impossible angle, and he's put it over. One of the top moments of this final, that sideline, beautifully cut over there by Noel McGrath. Just look at it again here, it's quite superb. The angle was very tight, very sharp, but he made little of it. And it's 2.13 to 12 points. Yes. And all, all hope not last yet, Joe. You know, if, if Tip Gray can get a goal in the next five minutes, you know, they're still in the game. But look, as I say, they're forward and not, not operating at full, at any potential, really, at, at this stage. And Noel McGrath, they're a great line ball, but he's not in the game at all. And you know, if he raises it for the next 15 minutes, uh, you know, Tip still have a chance. 
Again, out comes Brendan Maher here, blocked partly. Henry Shefflin slips the little hand pass. Michael Rice off his left, in beyond Richie Parr this time. Brendan Cummins now. And you can see Benny Dunn is under pressure, enormous pressure from Michael Fenley. Cutting through, sliding his way through, and well followed up by Benny Dunn, hooped him, but Fenley persists, strikes, well saved by Brendan Cummins. Kilkenny were looking for another goal. The clearance here is out towards Garrow and Ryan, started well in the opening ten minutes, haven't seen a lot of him since. Colin Fenley blocked, goes after it again himself. This time it's cleared away, out by Brendan Maher. Tommy Welsh under it there with Patrick Bonner Maher and full credit to the 21-year-old from Tipperary. He's battling his heart out inside towards Lark Corbin. Lovely little hand pass. How will they finish here? What a good goal! Tipper right back. It's Paul Burke who's got it. His first ever goal in the championship comes in the 55th minute. And with a quarter of an hour left to play, it's 2.13 to 112. It's anybody's game. Yeah, a brilliant ball by Bonner but Larry Corbett not in the game at all. Brilliant first touch and layoff. And Pa Burke had no opportunity but to go for a goal. And, you know, great low shot into the net. And really that brings Tip back into the game. A game that they haven't been in at all, but yet they hung in there and hung in there. And now only four points in it. That's the beauty of hurling. Quarter of an hour to play. Only four points between the teams. The champions from last year, Tipperary, fighting back. Richie Power getting possession for Kilkenny, slipping it to Owen Larkin, inside towards Richie Hogan. Hogan still advancing, going, trying to go by three defenders. He had options, there were players right and left, he didn't play them. Very tight in there, very tight from a tip point of view, and in the end, Brendan Maher, young hurler of the year from last year, gets it away down the field, beyond Owen Kelly. Pressure on once again here. This time it's taken by Noel Hickey. Hickey little hand pass outside, beyond JJ Delaney, comes as far as Paul Murphy. Playing a very steady game, huge one down towards Richie Power. Anybody's final, four points in it. Back out it comes again to Porik Maher. Back once again down the field it comes towards John O'Brien and Benny Dunn. Nicely taken in. Low ball inside towards... Lark Corbett beyond him from that pass from John O'Brien. Out comes the goalkeeper, David Herity, gets by Lark Corbett. Herity taking off now, aware of the presence there of Bonner Maher. Didn't want to be hooked, got it out there as far as Michael Rice. Huge one down, pressure on Michael Cahill over there from Colin Fennelly. Taken out by the corner back, but it's surrendered to Richie Parr. Back once again, hitting the shot and hitting it wide. Missed opportunity. <laughs> But Jerry didn't get a chance there in that passage to play, it was so uh, up and down the field. But I think the next score now absolutely crucial. If Tip can get back to three points, they'll believe they can do it. If Kilkenny can pull away to five again, you know, that might be the difference. And uh, Larry Carver a great chance there, maybe should have taken a touch and got it under control, he let it slip inside. But the game really, really back in the melting pot now. David Young is coming in, and the player going off is Conor O'Mahony. The fourth change made by the Tipperary management, led by Declan Ryan. So in comes Young, and he's gone in there to the uh, wing-back position, and uh, I think he's the latest to have a go at marking Henry Shefflin. Yeah, Parik Maher gone to centre-back now, so he's manned all the positions in the half-back line at this stage. Well, Tipperary are basically saying, let's have a go, let's try our full hand here, let's see if we can win the title. And Kilkenny taking the challenge, they have the lead, can they hold on now? Brian Hogan will be hoping to lift the cup. Ball played into space here, but to nobody in particular. That's a waste of possession by Brian Hogan. Really give it away to Paul Curran, who now can start the next attack. Bad clearance, straight to Owen Larkin, mistakes being made. Larkin takes off pass, Porik Maher, hand pass inside, not a good hand pass. Well read by Paul Curran. Again the ball driven out of defence eventually, this time by David Young, way down the field. Down towards John O'Brien, challenged there by JJ Delaney, still challenged. Almost running into a cul-de-sac, he's lost it, and Delaney takes it off, hand passes it out as far as Brian Hogan, big one down. Rich, Richie powers in after it, keeper comes out, and Brendan Cummins does really well. Holds off the challenge of Colin Fennelly, out near the sideline, it'll be a line ball to Kilkenny. What a finale we're getting here, 2-13, 1-12, that's 19 points, to 15, Kilkenny the leaders. And there's going to be a change very shortly, as you can see, and we're going to see uh, number 22, TJ Reid, in. And Eddie Brennan, I believe, will be the one who will be withdrawn. 
This line ball taken by Michael Rice down towards Colin Fennelly, holding the possession, now using his pace. Good looking shot, fine looking shot, wonderful score by Colin Fennelly, the man who came into this match under a cloud because of a hamstring injury, but they tested him on Friday night in training, he passed that very rigorous test and he's done well in this final and he's made it 214 to 112. He has, in Jared. comes TJ Reid. Yeah, just Colin Fennelly, again, we've mentioned him a few times, but comes from a great hurling family and you know, just that instinct, he heads straight for the goals, he takes the right angle and Eddie Brennan getting a huge reception has made a massive contribution as well. Eddie's one of those players hoping to win an eight All-Ireland medal this afternoon, along with Henry Shefflin and Noel Hickey on the field. From the puck out, one here by John O'Brien for Tipperary, into space now, who's covering the space? This time it's Jackie Turrell who comes across. And out it comes towards TJ Reid, first possession. Now he needs to use possession well, he's overhit it over the head of Richie Parr. Brendan Cummins, nice and calm. Ten minutes to play in the final. Four, five points between them. Once again, JJ Delaney, but almost taken from him. Brian Hogan helps out. There's a wonderful intensity to this final, which has been non-stop from the word go, really. In the end there, the ball coming off John O'Brien. Or did it? No, it went off a Kilkenny player, off John's legs originally, and then finally off the Kilkenny man. Line ball to tip anyway. Yeah, feature of the game too, the high feeling of John O'Brien. He's caught three or four <clears throat> brilliant puck outs there in the last five minutes, but, um, you know, he's been bottled up. Uh, maybe, I felt maybe fouled once or twice there, but um, Noel McGrano, this is one again that he's capable of putting over, even though it's 55, 60 yards out. This one has got to drop well short. Should be cleared by the backs, they're almost making a mess of it. David Herity in the end. Happy to get his clearance away, and well caught by JJ Delaney. Wonderful fielding, wonderful clearance by Paul Murphy. It's relentless, it's frantic, the pace tremendous at the end of this All-Ireland final. Full credit to both teams. Here's Porik Maher, held by Paddy Stapledon. Up as far as Benny Dunn, quick look up feeds it forward to Gary O'Ryan, encouraged to take it on, they're playing it short, Noel McGrath going for the target, having a shot himself, he's got it, he's got a third point, Noel McGrath, two in the second half, all of wonderful quality, left on mark there for a moment, as uh, Brian Hogan was back, helping out his full back line, but he left McGrath free. Yeah, Brian Cody arguing there, I think that, that was a pick-up off the ground. He's adamant about it, isn't he? 2.14 to 1.13, a four-point game still. Yeah, and you'd wonder about Kilkenny maybe moving Henry Shefton maybe into full forward. Had Richie Power there, you know, he's young, he's plenty of pace. Uh, Henry Shefton's done a lot of running and maybe he deserves a bit of a break in there and could still finish if he got a chance. Doing a lot of running right now is Colin Fennelly from the pass by Michael Rice. Steadying himself from a very tricky angle, he's put it wide. And uh, Henry Shefton not too pleased with him because he was anticipating a pass across the face of goal which Henry would have been in to uh, compete for. Henry is top of the left at this stage, being marked by Paddy Stapledon. Tonight, of course, Sunday game, 9.30. Highlights of this, highlights of the minor match as well. Picking the team of the year, man of the match from here, lots more. We'll be at the winner's hotel. Well, which hotel and which winners? We don't know. 2.14 to 1.13, four points the margin. And tip come again. And it's dropped in well towards Owen Kelly. Tommy Welsh 